Hey guys, it's Talman Knudsen with The New Hypnotist, and we have an awesome question in here today from Jeff. And Jeff won himself a copy of our $375 hypnosis program, The Prosperity Process, just for asking such a phenomenal question. So nice one, Jeff, and we are going to be getting your login details for the program here shortly. So congratulations on that. I know it's a question that a lot of people have on their mind because it's all about questions. So here we go. Jeff asks, Hey Telman, great information. I've been going round and around racking my brain trying to come up with a great question to ask. Then it hit me. I've not been asking great questions. So my question is, how can I learn to ask better questions? I know better questions get better answers, but how can I improve the quality of the questions I ask myself day in and day out to improve in all areas of my life, including especially finances? Thanks, Jeff. So Jeff, Great question, and here is the deal. First of all, like everything else, the art of asking questions improves with practice. Most of us, when we grew up in school, were encouraged not to ask questions, to just follow the rules. And when you put your hand up, you look like a jerk because you keep on asking too many questions. I was always that kid that asked too many questions. It kind of annoyed everybody else. But then again, everybody else probably isn't having that great of a life these days. So for me, questions have created enormous benefit in, in my life. So there are a few things. Number one, as I said, this is kind of the, the overview. Ask more questions, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, even if they're questions that make people around you feel uncomfortable, ask them anyway, as a general rule. Now, number one, in order to ask better questions, you need to first decide exactly what it is, something really specific that you want to accomplish. Okay, something very specific that you want to accomplish. Let's say you want to become a, uh, uh, or you want to win a 5K race, or let's say you want to bake an amazing chocolate cake for your son's birthday. We'll go with the cake example. Well, w number one, figure out exactly what you want to accomplish. Make sure it's measurable and specific. So when you've accomplished it, you and everyone else around you has proof that sure enough, you did it. You lost 47 pounds of body fat or whatever it is. Okay. Number two is you only ask that question. You only ask questions to someone that has already accomplished what you're looking to accomplish or something greater. Never ask questions to people who have no business giving you answers. Do not ask your friends. Do not ask your family. Everyone always wants to give you their advice. Everyone always wants to give you their opinion. Only ask someone who's already accomplished what you're trying to accomplish or something greater greater. Okay, that's number two. And number three, ask a very specific question as it relates back to your goal, to the person that you chose. So ask a very specific question that will, if you have the answer, allow you to take immediate action. So instead of asking a baker, how do I become a great baker? You ask the baker, how, what's the single best recipe you know on how to, cre how to make an amazing chocolate cake? You get the recipe, you make the chocolate cake, bam, you've succeeded. You've actually accomplished something. You've made progress in your life. Instead of asking a baker, how can I be a great baker? Or and asking an athlete, how can I be a great athlete? You say, how can I win this particular race on this particular date? Or you ask a fitness professional, how can I lose this particular amount of weight in this particular amount of time? And they give you a very specific recipe. They give you a very specific set of directions that you're then able to follow, to take action on, to implement. Don't ask vague questions. Ask specific ones. Jeff, you did a great job of asking a very specific question here. Your question was, how do I get better at asking questions? This is how you do it, Jeff. And fortunately, you're trying to improve your financial life. Use the prosperity process. Listen to a hypnosis session every single day from the prosperity process. And I'm really looking forward to having you on board as a client. Also, everyone, if you like this video, share it. Click the sharing button, click the Facebook button, the Twitter button, share it with everyone you know. And if you want to win a copy of one of our amazing hypnosis programs, go ahead and ask a question below. We every single week do these video blogs and award people based on awesome questions. So thank you so much. This is Tom Knudsen with The New Hypnotists. Over and out.